Hey there, so this is the episode 28, I guess, if I'm not mistaken, let me check. So this is part 29. Okay, so let's see if we can... Do this. Okay, so episode 29 will be the heir to Dragonlands. Lagoland. So we're going to save and try this stage I must thank you again for agreeing to this, Elaine. Please, Zenoira is my enemy too, and one that neither of us could hope to overcome alone. Even still, this debt is one that will not be easily... And given everything I owe you, there exists another matter of which I must speak with you. What do you mean? I have an elder brother by the name of Ludwig. Where I struggled, he always excelled with maddening ease, beloved by our parents, and most of all, by our citizens. Were all things equal, he would be the one to ascend the throne. But he has been missing ever since the war began. Ludwig was even the one who proposed using Hermann as a spy. Here I stand with the most loyal servants in the land, and all I'm capable of is walking in my brother's shadow. But I shall walk in it forevermore, if needs must. Ludwig is gone, and I will do whatever I can to guide Drakenhold to prosperity. The mantle once worn by my father now adorns mine own shoulders, as symbol of that conviction. So that's where it came from. I've been thinking you look... <laughs> you mean that as a barb, I'm certain. Yet I shall take those words at face value. Thank you, Virginia. <sighs> You're no fun. So... What kind of mischief have you two been getting into over here? Nothing of much import. Merely reminiscing on my brother. Prince Ludwig, huh? There is nothing more to say on the matter. Now, we strike under the moon's watchful eye. I ask that you not be late. This night, we join with Herman's company and reclaim Castle Soldraga once and for all. It seems the time has come. Indeed, my prince. The liberation has begun their mark. Good. Prepare to depart at once. Yes, my liege. You wished to speak with me? I did. I'm sorry to distract you before such a pivotal battle, but this needed to happen in private. That swordsman is none other than Prince Ludwig. You knew? <sighs> As did you, judging by your response. I... Uh... It matters not. Speak of the devil and he'll waltz right into your tent. It's good to see you again, Prince. So, I've been found out. I heard you'd gone missing, you know. Tragically lost since the war against Zenoira. Some mane you've grown in the meantime. I beg of you. Keep this matter a secret. 
You and Leia here are the only two who know my identity. And I would much prefer to keep it that way. Sorry, but secrecy isn't really my game. Elaine must know of this. Then he'll lose a capable sword in the process. Reveal the truth, and I am gone. <sighs> Fine, then. There's no point telling him if you're just going to disappear the second I do. I promise I won't speak a word of this. For now. But that all ends when we arrive at Soldraga. So be it. I will stand with the Liberation until that time, and situation withstanding, I must admit, I'm glad I can still be there for Gilbert in his time of need. So that's how it is. As Gilbert mentioned back at the Colosseum, he plans to ascend the throne once we've retaken Soldraga. It's a burden he found the resolve to shoulder only when it was thrust upon him, when Ludwig went missing. But if he learned his brother still lived, well, the joy of their reunion might end up tinged with dismay. I know it all too well. For years, I had thought myself the sole survivor of the Cornian line, and worked tirelessly in that role. Then, how did you feel when you learned I was alive? To be frank, it was an equal helping of joy and envy. I admired Queen Elenia from the day I first laid eyes on her. And every ounce of my being is dedicated to restoring Cornea. <laughs> but even I'm not brazen enough to challenge royal succession. You're the heir, no matter how much I might wish otherwise. Back to the topic, you have to convince Aramis. Convince Prince Ludwig to reconcile with Gilbert. Very well then, I'll speak to him. Oh, I can't thank you enough, Ale. If Ludwig is going to listen to anyone, it's you. service. I stand ready. Sir. Your will shall be done. Allow me! My atonement beckons. Your will shall be done. You've made the right call. I shall never yield. Don't resent me for this. What is it? Hmm. I've made it. I'm in their firing range. Kneel before me. Let's see just how strong I can get. Know well the limits of you our... You choose poorly, villain.
General Berengaria! What is it? The rebels have breached our front line, ma'am. They march on the castle as we speak! <laughs> <laughs> I would have been disappointed if they came all this way only to die at the gates. Yes, they'll prove it. Ready the troops. I shall take the field myself. Challenge me. Is anyone surprised? I'm in their firing range. You're nothing. You've misjudged me. Face me and be cut down. Dead and buried. Quite the challenge. Hold you back in his highness's honor. No mercy. Victory is ours. I stand ready. Enjoy watching you struggle, and you must be their leader. You'd best make this worth. It seems their magic has taken hold of her. My time has come. At least try. <sighs> Mourn your You dare challenge me. No mercy. My griffin needs a rest. Elaine. 
I'm sorry, Ren. This is all my fault. If anyone should be apologizing, it's me. All I ever wanted was to keep you safe. Pardon the interruption. Prince Gilbert. There can be no mistaking it. You are none other than the daughter of House Zexhelm. I am. And after my family's role in the uprising, I have no right to stand before you. There is no need to unearth what time has long buried, though it does make this all the more difficult to comprehend. To get my hands on this armor here, a lost relic of their ancient empire, I needed strength to take revenge for what they did to our family. And claiming their colors was the only way to get it. All of this was for father then? Yep. But I know you'd get roped in too if you learned the truth. So I lied, said all those awful things to get you to leave. I wanted to keep you as far from battle as I could. We've already lost so much, Travis. Our father, our mother. I wasn't about to lose you too. <laughs> then the answer is already at your fingertips. It is a bitter drink being forsaken by an elder sibling. I'm glad to see you reunited. No, I have matters of my own to attend to. I'll never abandon you again, Travis. I swear it. I'm gonna hold you to that, you know? I wouldn't have it any other way. We fight shoulder to shoulder from now on. And Travis... I'm sorry. I forgive you. Return to us sooner. The battle I waged with Zenoira cost us our father, and my entire army beside. There would be no celebration to welcome home one who has failed Drakenhold so dearly. You're not to blame for his death, Ludwig. Zenoira is, and you're well aware of. If you speak of their magics, I've already heard of the matter from Virginia. Gloucester was affected as well, but there's little use asserting such claims now. Father has passed, and so too has the moment to rewrite my narrative. Tell me then, why have you returned? Because Elaine asked me to meet with you. Quite insistently, I might add. That you may claim the throne free of any lingering doubts or objections. I'm proud of you, Gilbert. And so is Father, I'm sure. Yet he would rightly assert you deserve the crown, not I. As is your station as the eldest son. You're wrong. I cast aside my name, my very kingdom, out of shame for what I've done. A man like me does not deserve to lead. Not only that, but the unexpected return of a cowardly king would only sow chaos amongst our vassals. Even still, I know in my heart you would be a more capable ruler than I. You think too highly of me and remain blind to your own worth all the while. Ludwig, wait! Our people have rallied around you not because they feel you need the support, but because they believe in you to lead them true. The King Drakenhold yearns for is you. Where will you go? I plan to rejoin the Liberation, to fight alongside them as hired steel, and to one day see Galerius given the demise he has earned. In that case... No. You must stay here, and restore the lost glory to our land. Apologies, but I am the king of this nation. I have no interest in taking orders from mere cells. <sighs> You've always been impossible, you know. But I admit, you wear father's mantle well. <laughs>
Together with Prince Gilbert, we have successfully laid claim to his throne at Castle Soldraga. Zenoira must surely be reeling from such a staggering blow to their stomach. Now, this is the state of Febrith at present. Where to next, then? What do you think about Elheim? Seems only right after that weird vision you had when we were saving Scarlet. If you hope to reach the realm of the elves, we will first need to navigate our way through the winding wood. Let us make for its edge in the southwest of Cornea. Okay, so that's the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.